So this video is all about getting your own Google My Business listing. Now, if you don't know what that is, it used to be called Google Places for Business, uh, but they've changed it, then, you know, it's a similar name, Google My Business. And it's literally your business listing on Google. So you would have seen a million of them before. Like, let's say you type in, you know, you go to Google and you type in Thai restaurant. Now, Google will go and show you like maybe three or five different Thai restaurants in your area um, in the search results. And there'll be, it'll say the name uh, and there'll be maybe a little bit of information. It'll have the star rating if they've had reviews before and how many reviews they've had. Uh, you can then click in and see more information about the business. Boring. Okay. But the reason it's important for your photography business is that you can be one of those results when someone types in, let's say, um, I don't know, wedding photography. Now, if you're in that area, your page, your Google My Business listing could show up. And if you've got a lot of reviews on there, then that gives you instant credibility. So instead of people clicking through to your website, they click this listing and they go to your Google My Business page where they can see all about you, read your reviews, look at photos, um, do all these types of things. So it really almost replaces your website uh, and gives you a lot of credibility because you don't have control over those reviews. Um, you know, you can't delete bad ones. You can't add you know, 15 of your own. They all have to come from other Google accounts. Uh, so this is a really underutilized thing by photographers or by most small businesses at the moment. Um, but it works really well. So there's a few things you can do with your Google My Business for, uh, listing. Now you've got to set it up. You've got to, th there's a whole process. You can get Google to send you out a postcard to your address wherever your business is set up. Now that can be your home, it can be your studio, whatever. Once you get that, it'll have a code on it and that's what you need to enter to activate everything. Um, next, what you can do is add images. Now you can go and take images of your studio. You can upload images, you know, from your portfolio to show people the type of work you do. Um, and you know, that allows people to, when they come to that page, they'll see your work. Uh, the other thing is if, if you have this page, your Google My Business page populated with all this information, you're going to show up high in the rankings than other photographers who haven't bothered to do anything. You know, they might have activated their page, but they haven't gone through and added photos, added descriptions, added anything. So, it pays to put a bit of time into your Google My Business page. The other thing is you want to start getting reviews. Now, the more reviews you can get, the better, because the more credibility you'll have um, and the better you'll look in comparison to the other photographers. So if you've got 52 reviews, you're going to look a lot better than the photographer who has three reviews. To get the Google reviews, you can simply ask people, ask your past clients, um, just say, Hey, I'm, I'm trying to build up this Google, my business page. I'd really appreciate it. If you could go and leave me some honest feedback, it would really help my business out. And a lot of people will go and do that for you. Uh, especially if you've done good work for them. Now, the other thing you can do on your Google, my business page now is write posts. So that can be anything like a current special you've got going on. Uh, it can be just information about the the services you offer, but having more information on your My Business page is going to be better to get you ranked more highly when someone does type in wedding photography or whatever, you know, whatever you do. Now, the last thing you can do that I think has some value and it's not hard to do either is to take a three, 360 degree photo. Now, you might have seen them when you go on to Google Maps. Sometimes there's a photo where you can scroll around and look at a whole room or, you know, a whole, um, you know, in a whole building. 
all you need is your phone uh, and the Google Street View app. And all you do is type in the business name. It has to be once you've been approved for that My Business account. Um, type in your business name and then you can click to upload a photo. Uh, and then you select 360. You can do a full 360 photo of the room, the ceiling, the floor, everything. Uh, and upload that. And that just helps you again, get better rankings, get more visibility on Google. Now, in conclusion, in this video, getting a Google My Business listing is very uh, important and helpful at the moment. The great thing is that not a lot of other businesses are doing it. It's totally underutilized. It gives you a large amount of credibility and believability because of all the um, reviews since you can't put them on there yourself. Uh, and I've seen this working really well for my private consulting clients when they put some time into building it up, getting their reviews, and it starts to see some rankings in the Google results. So go out there. If you haven't already got yours, make sure you get it. If you haven't populated it with great photos and content, then go and do that too. All right, if you've enjoyed this video, go and leave a comment below. I really appreciate them all. And if you're interested in consulting, just get in touch.